I saw online the reviews of this gun saying that there was a piece of cinder block in the stock to weight it down, I was kind of skeptical. Thought maybe like a piece of putty or something, but no, it's literally a piece of cinder block wrapped in paper tape, like painter's tape. So like a literal piece of, I don't know how, how do you get cinder block in this shape? Where do you buy rifle stock shaped cinder block? Are they literally just pouring up batches of cement into a mold and then paying somebody to tape it up? That's insane to me. But anywho, all right, let's get the painting. Something I wanted to point out too from my last video, Rust-Oleum just, I guess, not too long ago added this also bonds to plastic. So the step where I spray painted it white with the plastic primer, not necessarily needed anymore apparently. Obviously go light on your first coat to kind of set up the plastic, but I guess Rust-Oleum got the clue. So yeah, let's get this tape done and then we can paint. So obviously tape off anything you do not want painted. This includes not only the lens on both ends of the scope, but also the receiver itself. Depending on what type of gun you have, it may be called a receiver, may be called the bolt. But either way, you want to cover it. You do not want paint anywhere on that. And because it's camo, the taping and stuff like that doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to cover the stuff that you don't want painted. Like inside here can still have some black showing. It's not going to be that big of a deal. You just really don't want to get it on any of the moving parts because that will be a big deal but a little black in the edges like inside the scope itself isn't gonna hurt anything they're not gonna see you because there's black showing I got everything taped off I'm gonna start with the darkest color and I'm gonna give it just a general coat all over nice light coat for the first coat If you saw my last video, you know that you don't necessarily have to wait for this to cure if you have a blow dryer. You can pick one of these up for, I think I got my last one for six bucks, maybe three bucks. Any woman can tell you this is the best blow dryer ever. The fancier it looks, the worse it's gonna act. So just get the most basic one you can find, cheaper the better, as long as it's got a hot setting, All right? Once it's dry, I literally just took some weeds right out of my backyard. If you know any actual snipers, they'll tell you that you want to get fauna or foliage, whatever you call it, from the area you're going to be in because then you will more easily blend into the area you're in. But you just literally lay it across the weapon like so and kind of all the same angle following a pattern and the more random the better you don't want it to follow any certain type of order and once you get everything where you want it i i normally do the first layer really spread out and i do that in the lighter green now that we've done the base coat in the dark and we're just gonna mist it right over this Real light coats. Now we're gonna move everything down to the end here. Now we have some shadows. We'll do the same on the pistol. Again, hit it with your blow dryer and then this time we put everything really close together overlapping it heavily in one dense area again all angling the same way we're going to take our lightest coat a tan we're going to move it same thing Again. And one last time, right on the end. There we 
we go. Now we'll do the pistol. Same thing, nice and dense. We're doing the lighter color at this point, so you want everything nice and close together, so you, you cover as little area as possible. There we go. Now we hit it with the air gun, flip everything over, and do it all again. And then you end up with something like this. Three-tone, nice winter-style, fall-style setup. I may put a little orange in there depending on where we're playing. There's a lot of dead leaves, etc. But that's essentially what you're going for. Just a, something to break up the pattern. Nice dull paint, no blacks, no shiny. I'm going to end up putting some net, some leaf pattern material on them to kind of hang off and drape to break up the lines of the gun itself. But that's essentially all there is to it. Like if you like, subscribe if you want, and keep modding, fellas.